8 million stories in the naked city. And chances are you can only keep up with a fraction of them during your hectic day. Give us a few minutes then to bring you up to speed on what New Yorkers are talking about. This is The Debrief. Also, we're happy to have Jay Michelson from the Jewish Daily Forward. And Jay, we've asked you to come on. Hello. Welcome hey, to The man. Debrief. Thanks. You recently won an award for a column that you wrote. And it seemed like it was a very tough and emotional column for you to write and a position for you to take. Why don't you explain it to our viewers real quick? That's right. Well, David, it was a column called How I'm Losing My Love for Israel. And it's about sort of an alienation of a liberal American Jew from the Israeli establishment and the Israeli government. And there's really kind of a gap that's growing right now between the American Jewish leadership, which is kind of circling the wagons. You're either for us or against us. And a lot of people, particularly younger people, who don't think things are quite so black and white. All right, right. Now, this comes on the heels of Helen Thomas here mm -hmm. at this award, and I know that you have paid attention to this. Helen Thomas making some comments that were seen as offensive, sure. and it ended her career at the age of 90. What were your thoughts when you heard that? I mean, it is difficult to criticize Israel, although her comments were seen as really reprehensible. Well, her comments were really over the line. I mean, it's one thing to criticize Israel's policies or to criticize the blockade or the settlements, but to say that you know Jews have no place in the land of Israel or in Palestine, I mean, that's really over the line. It's calling for ethnic cleansing. You know, Jews should go back to Europe, go back to Poland and Germany, to the concentration camps, perhaps. I mean, those, those comments were way over the line. Yeah. And I think anyone who even has any idea about peace and coexistence in the Middle East has to condemn those comments. All right, we're going to point out that we're going to talk a little bit about that later on the show because Gabe Pressman has some thoughts about that, so we'll address that later. The, the thing I found interesting, Jay, is that you said that part of the issue is the Israel that you knew and loved is changing. Explain mm -hmm. that a little bit. Well, it's really, you know, the government that's in place right now is, is a, a right, far-right government, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, Israel as a population, they just feel as though they've been under siege for so long. They tried with the peace process. They feel like it didn't work. And there's really kind of a siege mentality within Israel. I lived in Israel for three years. I have yeah. many relatives and friends there. And it's it's tough. You know, they're really voting for increasingly conservative governments because there's just a sense of fatigue and exhaustion. But there's also a, a huge number of millions of liberals. That's right. Well... <laughs> and... <laughs> Palestinians. Real... It's not... <laughs> and... <laughs> going to be against <laughs> comedy <laughs> or complete <laughs> 